What's up guys? We're back with another Tinkercad tutorial. Uh, let's see, this will be part five. That's going good. I'm trying to get 10 videos done before I launch the channel. It's a brand new channel. So if you like this, subscribe and give me some more ideas because we're just going to keep them coming often. So uh, if you haven't ever used Tinkercad, go back and watch maybe episode one and two or whichever one looks uh, interesting to you. But uh, the very beginner stuff is in episode one. Uh, so this is still going to be geared toward beginners, and I might repeat some of the stuff that you guys will need to know, but we're going to work on a design, and let's get started now. So make your, go to Tinkercad, and make your free account. It's online, so you don't have to download it, uh, and then we'll hit create. We're going to do a 3D design. And that'll bring us to our template here. Okay, you know what? Today's project, as you probably saw in the thumbnail, we're going to make a doghouse. Uh, so, let's just get started right away. Um, I want to, I want to kind of make this a little detailed. Let's try to make a more detailed model uh, without making the video too long. So, instead of just hollowing out a square and putting a door in it, um, we're going to make it a little more detailed. Okay, so let's actually, what I'm going to do is, well, one millimeter. I'm actually just going to start with flat a flat wall. Let's make one of the walls. Um, well, let's see. How do I, uh, let's see. Okay, let's pick a nice even number. So see if you, if you click on these corners, you can change these numbers. Um, 75. Okay, so I'm just picturing in my head here. Okay, how about 125? Is that... Okay, that would probably be a good size wall. Like, I mean, a good rectangular shape for the side wall of the doghouse. Because what I want to do is I want to put some siding on it. So, uh, let's see if this is going to work. So let's grab another square. Okay, I'm checking how wide this is. Okay, 125. So let's also make this 125. You just type it in and change it. Boop. Okay, uh, I'm going to line this up. We could use the align tool, but that, that's easy. Okay, watch what I'm going to... I'm just experimenting here, so let's... Let's make this narrower because siding is kind of narrow and it's shorter, of course. So let's change this to, uh, let's try three, three millimeters. There we go. See, we're doing stuff already. Okay, let's slide it down to the bottom. But you know, siding is not just flat like this. It kind of tilts. So here, watch this. Let's tilt this. We might have to make it a little, you know what? Let's go back there. Uh, let's make this a little thinner. Let's do two. Oh yeah, yeah, that's better. Okay, so let's tilt it slightly back like this. I mean, just a little. Okay, so some is sticking down below, so we got to make sure we you know, fix that before we print. And that's fine. We can snip all that off. So this is what I was thinking. See how that's tilted? Um, let's just select it. And we're going to hit duplicate up here. And then use the arrow keys because it stacked it on top of each other. So let's use the arrow keys. Yeah. Do we want it more tilted? Um, let's see what that looks like. So watch. If you hit duplicate it again, it'll remember uh, remember that movement. See? Look it. We're doing stuff already. Look it. We just made a uh, a wall of siding. Actually, it looks pretty good. 
I'm not too worried about that little top part. We could either snip that off or leave it. So we're going to have a roof. Uh, I like it. Okay, so that's one side. So now we can just, let's group this together. Because we're going to just use the same one for all the walls. So, oh yeah, I, I guess I should explain what I'm doing a little bit. So if you drag the uh, left mouse button and make this red square or rectangle, it'll select anything inside there. So it just selected all of our objects and we can group them together right here. Okay, now uh, it thinks it's just one object now. So we can actually set this up on end. Oh, let's snip off, you know, all the siding sticks through on the bottom there. Let's snip that off because we want that side to be flat. So here, let's grab this cutout square, transparent square, because this will cut into any object when we group it. So this is what I do. I just make it really big and grab the center, the center square here that usually you would pull it like this, but just go under the project. There, like that. And it'll perfectly cut this off flat right at this grid plane. So let's select everything and group. There we go. So now if we look at the bottom, see, it's perfectly flat. That's what we want. Okay, uh, let's set this up on end to make our first sidewall. So we're going to hold this. We're going to stay inside this blue circle because see it's snapping it into place. If you go outside the blue circle, you got free motion. See? But we want to snap it into place like so. Okay, let's raise it up. I'm holding control arrow up to raise it. And if it's floating above the plane like this, you can just hit D to drop it. D. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's just frame this thing out. Oh yeah, this is kind of tall. So maybe we will snip. This is pretty tall for the wall, don't you think? Let's snip a little bit off. So we could just grab a cutout square and control up arrow to raise it up. Should we snip one of these? Let's snip one of these top things off here. Sure, that'll be fine. So we can just... Another way you can select things is if you hold down Shift, you can select multiple objects by clicking on them. So look, now we have these two objects selected. So let's group them and see it cut it off. Okay. My computer feels a little choppy today, so sorry about that. I don't know if I have too, too many programs open. <clears throat> um, okay, let's, let's go ahead and duplicate this wall. So let's just do this and slide it over. Okay, and obviously we can either spin this around because we need the siding on the outside, of course. Uh, here's another way though. We haven't used this yet. So this is the mirror function. So if you click it, uh, look, I could just hit this arrow like this way. See, so you could, it will basically flip the design mirror it the opposite way. So see, if we hit right here, boop. So see, now it is the sightings on the outside. Is this a little too wide? How fat is our dog? Uh, let's see, that's a, a little too wide probably. Okay, and now let's do the back wall. See, we don't have to do a new wall each time. We're gonna use the same darn one. Duplicate. Look, we're even going to use the same one for 
in the back wall. We'll just make it. We'll just change how long it is. Um, let's see. Okay, let's go back there so we can look at it. Sometimes when I'm working on it like this, I'll <clears throat> I'll change it transparent because then I can kind of see what I'm doing. Like I'll be able to see if it's touching because once it touches this up the other ones, it'll get dark. Watch. See? Now I know it's touching. See, that's why I like to do that. And we can do that. Let's see how the siding fits. Oh, yeah, that's actually kind of cool. It'll leave a little texture on that corner. If it will print that anyway. Um, let's see. So that comes all the way to the corner. Um, I think we'll just snip it off. That might be the easiest way. We could just change this number for the length, but let's just cut it off. So let's change it back to solid. And we can use our trusty... Well, that's in the way. Get out of my way. Okay, we could use this to snip it right off if we want. Okay, I'll pull it over. Stretch it up. Oh, wow, I pulled it over way too far. Okay. Okay, is that... That's the spot. So I'm going to hold down shift and select this also. So both are selected and group boop. Hey, wow. We are good at this. Okay. Now we can just duplicate this back wall and let's slide it to the front. So our siding box is almost done. Uh, let's see. So let's. Oh, we can do our mirror. See, the siding's on the wrong side. So let's do our mirror function and click. Bam. See, it flipped it. Let's make sure it's touching. Good enough. Uh, we'll go one more in. So it's. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Is that how the other ones are? Let's check on the other ones, the other corners. Oof, it's hard to see. Uh, the other corners. I'm going to slide this one in a little bit. See here, we're moving everything one millimeter at a time with the arrow keys, but you can change that. See? So I'm going to go point 0.1. Oops. And I'm going to slide this one in a little bit. So it kind of looks like that front one. There we go. All right, I'm going back. To, my default is kind of one millimeter. Look at this. We got siding on our dog hails. <clears throat> okay, let's... Um, should we do the door or the roof first? Let's do the door first. Then we can see inside what we're doing. Um, obviously, a good doghouse door is just like a curved... A curved deal, uh, but we're gonna have to put a square underneath it, right? Um, let's raise this up. Looks like it's gonna have to be bigger. Thirty-three by thirty-three. Okay, we can always uh, we can always change the side. Okay, let's actually. Attach a square to the bottom of it. It's always hard to get the view right. 33 by 33. Wait, what? That looks way bigger. Must be because it's floating. Okay. Oh, I see, because they're not lined up. Okay, let's use the Align tool, my favorite tool. So look, I'm selecting both objects. And here's the align tool. And I just hit these middle, like this button and this button. If they're black, that means it's not aligned. So watch, it'll align it. There we go. 
uh, pull this up. Yeah, see, we're going to make a nice cutout for a door. Just checking if them are touching. And let's group these two together. So I'm going to select both objects and group. Let's make it a little taller. Look at that. We're making a cutout. <clears throat> okay, let's make it to a hole and slide it in. Okay, is this going to be a big enough door? I'm going to select this because we want to line it up, right? We want it right in the center of this. So let's hit the align tool and this black dot. Boom. Okay, it's aligned. Make sure it's sticking all the way through. Is that a good size i think that's a good size ain't it uh or a little bit bigger let's go a little bit bigger oops um how about like that now we gotta align it again okay now we can hit the group button i'm just gonna cut it out hey that's cool oh i just had an idea Let's see if we can get really crafty. Do you guys want to get crafty? I'm going to undo that. Let's quick make a copy of this shape we made. So let's hit duplicate and slide it out here. We're going to try something. If it don't work, that's fine. Okay, let's group these back together so it cuts it out. Okay, let's let me just try something. So let's turn this back into a solid object. And what I'm going to try to do is maybe make a little rim around this door frame. Is that going to work? It might. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have this selected. Let's make a let's duplicate it. So we have two of them. Let's make this one into a cutout, and let's make it smaller than the, let's make it a little smaller. So let's, we could just eyeball it, I think. So I'm going to hold shift, and you can drag these in to make it smaller or bigger. But if you're not holding shift, it'll get really weird like this, see? Oops, hit the back button. Okay, so I'm going to hold shift and shrink this a little bit. I'm going to make it a little longer because I'm just going to use it to cut this out. Let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to cut out a little frame. Let's stretch this in this way. A little bit more. So do you see what I'm kind of doing here? Um, Okay, let's go a little bit more on the height. Okay. So I'm just kind of make trying to make some kind of even little rim. Okay, that's good right there. Okay, you guys seeing what I'm doing? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay, let's hit the trusty align tool, at least for this direction. Okay, watch. We're going to combine. There. So see, we just made this little arch. And it will fit right in there. So let's just make it really short this way. How about, let's see if four. There, see? We're adding detail. Because look, we just got a kind of, uh, I wouldn't call it ugly, but see, we just have a blank cutout. Like somebody took a sawzall when they were making their their son Billy's doghouse. Look at, see, we are fancy. Okay, let's make sure it's not too, s it's good. We just plopped it right in, like pros. Wow, see how much that added? Yeah, good choice, good choice. I'm gonna high five myself. Oh, that was, oh, that was dumb. <clears throat> okay, we're getting there. Let's 
I wonder if we should have that stick out a tiny bit more of it because I'm so proud of it. Let's do five. Hey. Uh, yeah, I want, it to pr I want it to show up when it prints. <clears throat> okay, we have to do the roof, which means... Here, let's combine... All this is done, so let's combine it all as one object. And then we can see how long this whole thing is. 129.1. Let's see what 120 looks like. Oh yeah, this thing's long as heck. That's even too long, I think. Uh, 100 is probably too short. Let's do 110. Yep, let's do 110. <clears throat> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat. I slammed some coffee that I made yesterday. And now, I don't know. I should go make some more. It's 4.58 a.m. I just woke up. Perfect time to start doing this. Okay. Roof time. Okay, uh, let's do a panel that is 110. Uh, this way. Well, I guess it don't matter. 110. Boop, and I don't really know how, oops, I don't really know how uh, big to make it yet, but that's fine. Uh, let's do one millimeter tall, so see it makes this little flat thing. Should we put it, should we visualize quick, so we, let's visualize real quick. So basically we're going to add some shingles even, so... Let's see. So see. Oh, and you know what? I think it would look better if it was wider, you know? So it has overhang. So let's actually do this. Let's do 130 and see what. Yeah, see, we're going to want it overhanging on both sides. Oh, yeah. Okay, we can make. I think we picked a pretty good size, to be honest. Um, I think that's pretty good. I think it could be a little longer this way, just so it gets right to about here. So let's just use the back button until it goes back down flat. Oops, but now it's short again. Oh, well, we'll change it back to 130. The F key will center your item object that you're working on. So I should do that more often. 130. Can we get rid of this? Oh, much better. Why didn't I do that a long time ago? Okay, 130. And I said we wanted to make it a little longer this way. Let's just go to 70. Okay, I'm trying to cruise along so this doesn't take so long. Ooh, should we do square shingles or should we... I almost feel like doing kind of like the shape we made with the for the doghouse door. Oh my gosh, should we do that again? Uh, okay, I'll try to do it fast. Okay, 20 by 20, that's fine. So look, you can just make stuff. That should be, I think it starts at 20 by 20, so let's align this. Beautiful. Kind of. Okay, do you guys see what I'm doing? I'm going to make a tile shape. But I, I kind of want this fancy, like in Florida, they have these. Like the clay tiles? I don't know. Um, okay, that's fine. Let's select both of them. Group. Okay, now let's lay this down because we gotta, we got to tile this thing. What happened to the... Okay, that's good. Okay, and let's make this smaller, of course. I'm going to hold shift. Is that too small for a shingle? Um, a little bit bigger.
Okay. And let's make it shorter, of course. And we can also, let's have it start right on the edge. See, once again, it's hard to see what's going on. So let's use, let's turn it into transparent. Yeah, see, I couldn't even tell it wasn't, wasn't touching. Beautiful, kind of. This is going to be sticking out. Hmm. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to go to a more finesse movement here. Because once we have one in place, we're just going to hit the duplicate button. So that's how we roll. Okay, should, let's tilt these up also. Just a little, like that. Hey, there, we don't even have to snip them off the bottom. This is not sticking through the bottom. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Okay, you guys ready? We're going to do some duplicating. This has saved so much time. So see, once you make one of something, you're good to go. Okay, let's turn it back into this. I'll pretend I'm using clay tiles for now. Obviously, this colors doesn't matter. Uh, because it's going to print whatever color you <laughs> load into your printer. Uh, okay, here we go. We're going to select, duplicate, and slide it over. Um, should I leave them? Just like that, I guess. Now watch this. Do 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 boopage. Okay. Uh, I'm sure we might have some sticking over right there. I'm gonna click off of everything. And now I'm gonna select. Oops. You know it'll be easier. I'm just gonna do this. Select everything. And I'm going to hold shift and deselect this background because I don't want to copy this. So look, now this whole row is the only thing selected. And we're going to hit duplicate again. And now look, now we're really producing shingles. See how far we want them. Uh, that looks kind of cool. Or should they? Oh, you know what? Oh, you're supposed to, like, stagger them, aren't you? Oh, fancy. Oh, we're going to have to make... We should I should have made this a little longer. Oh, yeah, we got to stagger them. But look, we're missing one. Easiest way to fix... Mm, I don't... Uh, we can just... Oh, I don't know. There's a couple ways to do it. I'm just trying to do it fast so the video's not so long. Okay, we're just going to eyeball it and duplicate again. Okay, we're going to slide it back. So see, it's once you make one of something, you can really go crazy. We're just going to have to fix these little gaps. We'll have to add one more shingle. I'm going to hit the F key to center because I'm, I'm getting too far away here. So I'm just kind of eyeballing these. I'm going to hit shift duplicate again. See, it not only duplicates it, but it copies whatever movement you just made too. So see, I just moved it to the right. So when it, when it posts the next one, it's going to be sticking over here. Oops, let me make sure I line that up. Okay, paste. See how it's sticking over? And it's a little taller. Okay, that's good. Okay, to fill in these gaps, and we're going to cut this side off. I think this will be just fine. So, um... 
Well, there's a couple ways we could do it. So we could, oh, I see. We could just select this, hit duplicate, and we'll slap one more over here. Okay, click off of everything and let's do it again right here. This video might be a little longer than the other ones because we're adding some detail. This is cool. Um, I'm trying to cruise though, but not too fast. Okay, we just got one more to do. Duplicate, slide it over. Oh yeah, I'm at 30 minutes. Okay, I can see. Uh, I, I edit some parts out. There we go. Okay, let's uh, let's snip off these edges. F key to center. That's fine. Here. See, we're going to snip that right off. And you know what? Let's make another one of these to snip the other side off. Do 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 do. Geez, go faster. I think there's a way you can make it go faster. If you hold shift down. La. Set that over there. Well, here. We might as well line that one up and we can we'll group them all at the same time. <clears throat> Come on now. Okay, let's zoom in and see. There we go, that's fine. Okay, this was a little harder than the uh, siding, but it was really not too bad. Okay, let's do our... Oh, we don't want to select the doghouse up there. Let's drag our uh, selecty rectangle. There, look, see, we're selecting everything. Now we're going to group everything. Good thing we only have to do one side of the roof because, you know, we're going to. Okay. Wow, this is pretty cool. Did it get rid of the lines in the middle? Oh, that's okay, but I kind of would have. I should have left the tiles a little farther apart from each other. So if you guys do this. Yeah, and I could have left them sticking up a little farther, too. Um, can I still do that? Let me undo. No, it's too late. I think it would have been cooler if these were sticking up a little bit, right? Well... My goodness, it'll take me some time. Okay, hold on. I'm going to tilt. I'm going to tilt some of these up. I'll show you one roll. Oh, jeez. Why am I doing this? Okay, I'm going to hold down shift. And I'm going to select one roll. So I'm going to select this row. And then I'm going to tilt these up a little more. There. There, like that. So see, them are sticking up more. So I'm going to do that to all these rows, even this one. So I'm going to tilt them up so they're a little bit more pronounced. So I'll cut to when I'm done. Okay. So now we're ready to combine, and then we got to fix them parts that are going through. There. Okay, let's see if we can get everything into the square, red square. Okay, we selected everything. Now combine. Oh, this was a little more difficult. Okay, so these are the parts that were sticking through underneath the, the build. See, we have some stuff sticking through. We don't want that. 
So let's snip them off and we're going to be ready to put the roof on. Uh, so what? We're just going to drag this over. Make it big so it covers everything. And then just drag this button down so it goes below the plane. See, that's below the the grid pattern. And that's cutting all that other stuff. It's cutting the bottom perfectly flat. Okay, group. Mm, boop. That was not a good time. Boop. There we go. The more shapes you put together, the more it has to think about it or process it. There we go, finally. Okay, let's get this dang roof up there. Okay, let's tilt it up. What kind of angle we got going on? Okay, let's put it over. Oh, no wonder I'm going so slow. We're still at point 0.1. Let's go back to one millimeter movement. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, for one thing, let's center this. We could do that anytime. Oh, we are awesome. This is good. Maybe. Um, let's select the doghouse and the roof and hit the align button. Hey, look it. It's gray. That means it's already aligned. But will this angle work? I hope so. Here we go. See, can you imagine if we had to make another full one of these from scratch? That would that would make the video really long. We're just going to hit duplicate and mirror. See, mirror. We just hit this little arrow right here. Watch. Boop. Ah, thank goodness. We might have to make a little end, a little end top for that. I don't know if we're going to have time. We might just leave it like that. Okay, obviously this is not correct yet, but okay, let's select both of the roofs now and combine them. So we just have a finished roof. Roof, roof, roof shopping cart. Name it. Okay, um, see, let's, let's line this up and raise it. Raise the roof. <laughs> we're raising the roof. That is funny. I'm a comedian. Oh, look it. We're doing good. Now, this is awesome. Oh, it looks great. Um, I think it would look nice with a, a top little... Okay, we could do it. We're going to do a top little cap whatever it's called like a shingle cap if there's any roofers out there they're gonna be yelling at me because there's probably a name for it okay how wide is this 12980 we're turning it to 130 there sometimes it's 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 just nice to have stuff nice round numbers 130 um I'm not sure about the angle, but let's just go with it. I'm going to change it to the same color. Now watch this. We're going to hit duplicate. And turn one of them into transparent. And I'm just going to move it down a little. Look at that. Two clicks, three clicks. Let's do three, because watch, select both, and combine. Ah, there we go, we just made a little, and that didn't take long, we just made a little cap, cap a -rooney. Let me just get it into place, boop, boop, boop. Okay, um... It doesn't fit very good right now. Don't yell at me. Let's see. Is this how we want it? Hmm. Is it too big? Go up. No. Hmm. I feel like... 
I feel like we got to fix it. Darn it. I was hoping that would go really fast. Uh, D key to drop it. Let's go back to the ground. Oh, this video is going to be so long. That's okay. Everything's fine. I feel like this should have straight cuts like this. Right? I'm just going to pretend that's what I want. So let's do straight cuts on both sides. I can't see. There. Yeah, for some reason I feel like it should be like this. Combine? There, like this. But I, I don't know if that's going to look better or not. Let's go back up. Do 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 Okay, F key to see what we're doing. Okay. Yeah, I like this better, better. See, it's, yeah, that looks more normal. Okay, let me see why. See, it's because we're at, we made it a little different angle. Let's do the smaller movements. I think we're on to something here. Yeah, there we go. See, it's not so crazy. And watch, when we combine it, it's going to blend right in. Okay, it's processing. It's still processing. <laughs> there. There we go. Yeah, I like that. That's fine. Okay, do we need to fill in these? Do we need to fill these in? Goodness. Um, my goodness. Oh, can we do it quick? We got to steal. We got to get one of our walls back. I'm going to ungroup and see how bad, how hard this is going to be. Oh, luckily it was easy. Okay, I hit ungroup, so we got one of our walls back. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit duplicate and raise it up. That is too slow. This is going to be an hour-long video. Okay, let's raise the wall, not the roof. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you guys see what I'm doing? Okay, and now we're going to duplicate because we need... Oh, you know what? Delete that one. Okay, duplicate. And we're going to flip it around with our mirror function. There we go. So see now it's over here. Okay, let's line it up. We want it to... Yep, that's it. Okay, now we have the stupid roof uh, sticking through all silly. But look, that, that didn't actually take us that long. Could you imagine if we had to make new roof parts, like triangles, to fit in there? Because look, what we're going to do is we're going to just snip these snip these roof parts off. Here, watch this. Let's just make a big old rectangle like this. And I hope this works as easy as I think it will. Because once, yeah, yeah, watch, watch. We're good, we could do this. It won't take forever. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's 
it looks like yeah see we don't have that perfect angle let's fix that let's try to get the same angle as the roof that will work there we go so look I'm gonna snip this off right here using this and we can quickly do it all at once duplicate slide it over mirror to flip it ah see oh we are good oh look I should have stretched this is it too late to stretch it I know what I can do okay yeah this will work this will work just trying to cruise okay there we go and now look so that's gonna snip that off and watch this we're gonna select both of these and this will even be easier duplicate again haha <laughs> see let's go see if that worked yeah so see, we're going to snip the back one off at the same time. Ah, we are awesome. Okay, look at this. Now I'm going to select the whole dang doghouse. And moment of truth. Ready, guys? Brrr, group. Please, no disasters. Uh-oh, I just realized something. I shouldn't have selected the roof. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Whoops. Is this good, guys? This was... Went through Hurricane Katrina. Okay, back. I made one mistake. I, sh I should have... We're only trying to cut the walls. I shouldn't have selected the roof. So, let's wait till it's done loading. See, we're starting to get a lot of parts, so it, it's loading kind of slow. Okay, we only want to select the walls and our cutouts I'm not gonna screw it up this time that'll be embarrassing okay and this wall there now watch see <laughs> that's what I meant to happen oh my gosh Look at this. Didn't we do a great job? Oh, absolutely great. And let's do one last thing. Are you ready? Let's bring a little, uh, let's bring a little deal over here. A little cylinder. We'll crank the sides up so it's smoother. 64 sides. Um, let's see what... I'm trying to hurry here. Sorry, sorry. Um, what shape do I want? Okay, we're just going to use the dish. Oops, I gave it away. I gave it away. Let's make this a little bigger. Okay, duplicate. Make it a hole. You guys see what I'm making? Make this a little smaller. You guys know what I'm doing, right? Line them up. And group. Bam! Oh, I should have had that down a tiny bit more. I made a dog dish. I am I am so cool. There. Come by. Yeah. And how about a water dish too so we can just do this. Yeah. There we go. Water and food. Ha ha ha. Oh gosh. This is cool. Alright guys. I better stop talking so much now. I better get to printing. Um, oh gosh. I'm going to have to figure out how I want to print this. I think we're going to have to flip it upside down. 
Um, let's select everything and group it. I hate using supports, so I think I'll, I might just flip this upside down. Oh, cool. Okay. Let's flip this over. Um, I'll have to think about it. I might, I might, uh, let's see. Maybe I will do supports because I don't want to balance it on the roof. So we might have little supports for the, this roof edge right here. Look at how cool this is though. This is great. Okay. I'm done talking. I'm going to go print this thing. We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we're done printing, and I think it's looking fantastic. This is just the supports on the side, so you can't see our siding yet, but look at the roof texture. So let's see how connected this thing is. I don't want to break it, right? Oh, goodness. Should I be scraping it off? Let me use my razor blade. Oh, my God. <laughs> we're testing the durability. Oh, look at the front. Oh, wow, this is going to be great. What is this inside of it? What? There was a like button inside of it. That is just weird. Get out of here. Okay, look at this. Whoa, we got all the details. So let me remove, uh, let me remove these supports. Oh, look. Maybe I'll just show it. See how easy it is to, look at It's like opening a present. So I, wow, this is great. I use the tree supports on Kira. So I'm actually starting to warm up to supports now because these are the tree style supports. So a, um, usually it's just set to normal, which is some stupid support structures that I hate. But you can change it to tree structures and it gives these more solid branchy trees. Um, in this case, it doesn't look very branchy, but... Uh, I'm really starting to like to, when you switch it to uh, tree supports. Oh, look at this. This is fantastic. I hope you can see because it, it's kind of bright. So since it's white, it's overexposed. Wow, look at all this texture. It looks incredible. Should we check out our little dishes? Use my razor blade. Okay, let me get, ah, look at the little dishes. Let me take the little rims off of them. The brim, I guess. That's just to help stick it down when it's printing. Look at these cute little dishes. Oops, this one's got a little crap on it still. Oh my goodness. I gotta do a little more cleaning up, of course, with the edge. There. Oh, my goodness. What do you guys think? Is this our new favorite? And look, just in case it was awesome, I brought a little dog. Awesome. I was thinking, um, on my big printer, I got a Anycubic Cobra Max. I could print this probably big enough that my new kitten could fit in it or a cat could crawl in it. Wouldn't that be cool? Probably take a full roll of filament. But, oh, I love how this turned out. Okay. Uh, hey, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit like and give me some ideas in the comments and I will make them. Uh, I'm trying to build this channel up. It's a brand new channel. Uh, so I'm going to keep the videos coming often if I see that there's people supporting the channel. So, all right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.